Hello. Hello everyone. Hello. This is chocolate. Okay, so today we're having our second live. Yesterday we had a really short live uh, on how we can safely remove the under paw hair of our dog's paws. So today I will be doing a little bit more comprehensive and we'll be touching on how to, you know, clear up the face and I think that's quite crucial especially during this period where everyone is like uh, stuck at home and you know we are unable to get a pet groomer's help so today's uh, Instagram live will really uh, cover on the kind of tools that you will need uh, how to use it safely and of course how to handle and how to do the procedure itself Remember, for, for me, I always believe that um, pet grooming should be something that is not too stressful. So when we are doing any grooming procedures for our pets, uh, always remember that uh, their welfare comes first, okay? We don't need to force them or like restrain them or shout at them just because we want to do a particular grooming procedure. We can always uh, find ways to do it in the least stressful way possible. And for chocolate, he doesn't really like to get his face trimmed so we'll see what I can do to help him today and uh, hopefully you can take away some useful pointers when you are trying to uh, help your dog at home so I'll put chocolate down first and then I'll show you guys uh, the tools that we will be using today and how does how does the tools work okay so uh, for face trimming, okay, we will be covering how to trim the hair around the eye area, which is always the concern. And we will also be touching on how to remove the hair above the eyes, in front of the eyes. And of course, I'll try and see if I can touch a little bit on the removal of the hair on the lips area, because this is also one of the concerns that many pet owners have and um, this segment will include a Q&A at the end as well so if you have any questions you can hold on and then uh, I'll try and uh, check in with you again at the end to get your questions uh, sorted so with me now I have actually a few pair of scissors so these are the few pair of scissors that you may have uh, at home you know um, this is actually some a very common like hair hair hairdresser scissors and then this this round tip scissors is really the one that I will use um, for majority of the time today because it has round tip so it's very safe and the chances of this hurting your dog is very low so this is one of the scissors that you can try to use and of course this pair of scissors is actually a professional grooming scissors and I wouldn't be using this pair of scissors today because it's very sharp at the end so the I don't want to have any like uh, chances of pet owners you know hurting their dogs when they're trying to help their dog at home so we will not use this pair of scissors today we'll try and use a pair of scissors that has a round tip to reduce the chances of uh, any injury okay together with the scissors we will be using some combs if you have uh, this greyhound comb at home you can uh, use this as well together with the scissors and if you not you can actually just use any regular plastic comb that you may have at home uh, something that is more narrow would be great because the hairs at the face tend to be a bit more, uh, how to say, you need more detail work. So you want to use something with more narrow teeth. Okay, so you can either use this one or a regular greyhound comb. Alright. 
And together with these, you also can have a slicker brush around because sometimes, you know, some of our dogs, after a few weeks of not tending to their face, uh, sometimes there will be clumps and uh, maybe snags or mats. So if you use a slicker brush, you can help to gently break open, separate the hairs so that you can get the trimming done properly. All right. Last but not least, um, I know it's quite rare for any of you to have like electric shavers at home. But if you have, that's great because these electric shavers can very safely and effectively remove uh, any of the hairs at the very sensitive areas near the eyes or the lips. And I'll show you how these work at the end uh, to finish up, you know, chocolate's uh, neatening of his face. So now that we have cleared up the tools that we will need, um, I'll be going on to the, the safety procedures and the handling before we do the demo itself. I'll go and get chocolate. Just give me a while. So we're gonna change the view, okay? Alright, so now that we have shared about the tools that you will need and how to use the tools, um, the next thing I want to share with you or I want to say is that before you do any face trimming, okay, always remember that uh, this involves sharp tools. So if your dog is very very fidgety or very aggressive, you know, or you don't have any you don't have like confidence because you're very very scared. Uh, try not to attempt, you know, you only want to attempt if your dog is relatively compliant and relatively confident with helping your dog. If not, I would suggest to wait a while, okay? Try to do the brushing and combing of your dog's face first, which I will cover in a bit. And then wait until this whole circuit breaker period, you know, is over before, you know, getting your dog to the groomers to help. But meanwhile, this one is really more for you know, dogs that are generally more compliant and then um, okay with getting their faces handled, alright? So, first of all, I would want to uh, share with you how to see whether a pair of scissors is suitable to, to use for face trim. okay? So, you know, just now I have this pair of scissors here and then this pair of scissors which I'll be using, okay? How to see whether is it suitable to be used, alright? When you trim the hair using the scissors, it should cut right off in one snip. So it, it cuts the hair again in one or two snips. Okay? If you're using a pair of scissors that's blunt, okay, this pair of scissors is blunt. So when you cut, you can see that the hair folds. Can you see the hair doesn't get cut, it gets folded. So this is not recommended to use for the face. You want to use a pair of scissors that is able to cut away the hair with just one snip. Alright. So, let's go into the action. Alright. Now, what I want to do today is I want to share with you how to clear up the hair around the eyes, right? So the hair around the eyes, it will refer to the hair on top of the eye as well as the hairs that is growing in front of the eye on top of the muzzle. So these areas are usually the common concerns for dogs with hair growing on their face. Alright, so first of all, I'll share with you the angle where you put the scissors. Okay, when you place the scissors, let's say we want to trim the hair on top of your dog's eyes. Okay, the scissor, angle of scissor, should always be parallel to the eyeball. Parallel. Okay, so this way, it will be quite safe. So this way, parallel to the eyeball. Okay, and another safety tip for you is that when we are trimming the hair in front of the eyes here, the angle of the scissors is like this 
here. Alright, so this is the angle of scissors for the hair in front of the eyes, on top of the muzzle, and the angle for the top of the eye is like parallel to the eyeball. Okay, now before we start scissoring the hair and clearing up the hair, I'd like to show you how to brush and comb your dog's hair first. Okay, so we use a greyhound comb. I usually start with combing the top of the head. Okay. Same thing when we put the scissors, when we put the comb, okay, it's parallel to the eyeball. So, so reduce the risk of the needles, the pins poking into the eye. Okay, so parallel and then we comb forward. Boy. So comb forward, okay. Comb forward and then from half the skull we can comb to the back. Okay, the goal of combing is you want to separate each and every individual hair okay i repeat again from the front comb forward okay and then once you reach half the skull and comb to the back okay that's for the top of the head and the next area that we want to comb is the cheek and the muzzle okay so same thing Parallel to the eyeball, comb forward for the muzzle. Okay, and then we place the comb below the eyelid here and comb the cheek. So we are combing to the back. Yeah. For the other side, okay, comb forward with the comb parallel to the eyeball. And then with the comb needles below the eyelid here, comb the cheek. Okay, so for some of the dogs, right, they have very, very thick hair, very, very uh, fluffy head. They have a huge head. So sometimes when you comb, you find that there is a mat or like there is a clump. So what you can do is, firstly, not to pull it or force it up because it hurts. Okay, what you want to do is you want to either, you know, find out where is the clump and then use your fingers to loosen it up before you comb it up or use a sticker brush to brush that clump this sticker brush will help to separate the hairs break open the clumps and once that's done you can use the greyhound comb to comb through the hair once the head is combed and brushed we can start to trim okay so uh, okay sometimes you may take a long time to comb your dog's head Okay, some, some of our dogs here have a lot of hair okay? and we find it hard to manage. So you don't necessarily need to complete combing the entire head before you, you start grooming. Okay? You can always break it into parts and you also can let your dog down to rest. You know like chocolate is done with the face, the face uh, combing right. So you can let him rest for a while first okay? before going on to the trimming proper. Alright? So, good boy. So let's just get into it fast, and then after that, chocolate can go in this, and then we can go into the Q and A. All right. So now, the common concern areas would be above the eye and in front of the eye. Okay. Let's try above the eye first. All right. Now, first, you want to use your fingers to pry the hair above the eye after that put the scissor in the angle that i mentioned just now and cut make sure it's a swift cut okay and then comb the hair away or use your fingers to move the hair away now i have already trimmed the hair above the eye from here to here now for this area here what we can do is we can trim the hair like that from the side okay so basically if you look at this angle here the hair above the eye is the hair above the eye is quite clear already so use your fingers to pry and then just trim away so now the hair above the eye here is clear okay let's move on to this side here okay for the left side same thing pry, pry the hair above the eye forward 
and then put your scissors, cut quickly. Remember, the angle of your scissors is parallel to the eyeball. And then, just cut quickly. Okay, now, you can comb away the hair that is trimmed. Good boy. Okay. Now, we're only left with the center part here. Alright. So, for the center area, same thing. Put it forward, cut. Put it forward, cut. Put it forward, cut. Okay. So, now, if you can see from the side, the hair above the eye is actually quite short already. Okay. Remember, this demo today is really just to show like cat owners at home, you know, if you're having some trouble with your dog's uh, hair around the eyes, you know, you know, you cannot get help because uh, we all have to stay at home during this period. You can try out these few techniques and tips that I share today. Okay. So we basically want to clear up the hair above the eyes first. Okay, so from above the eye, the hair is all shortened now. Okay, this is just a very, very simple demonstration just to help your dog tight through this period where we all cannot go out, cannot bring our dogs for grooming. Okay, now we're done with the top of the eye area. Good boy, chocolate. Okay, so chocolate is being very, very patient right now. So let's go on quickly. To this area how to clear the hair here and then we'll just let chocolate rest for the day all right then we'll go to the Q&A now I will start off with clearing the the hair above the muzzle first and then I go to the side okay first thing you want to do is you want to comb the hair up and then the angle of a scissor remember is flat flat okay Boy, so you do a quick snip, quick snip. Up front. Okay, now this area is a common concern for pet owners. Okay, this area. So we use our fingers to pry the hair up, put at the angle, and cut. Remember, your scissors. You need to put it at a at a flat angle. And then you cut. Okay, use your fingers to pry. Alright, use your fingers to pry. And then use your fingers to move the hair away. Okay, now this side is more or less clear. Okay, so this is how it looks. And you can always cut it to the other side. Now, what we are left, this side is done, if you can see. Now we are left with this side, the dog's right side of the face. You know, when there's hair here, when the hair gets too long, sometimes it will irritate the eye, causing more tears to come out and causing more gunk to build up. So we want to clear the hairs here. Okay, now. Use your fingers to pry the hair up, put the scissors down, cut. Okay, remember to put your scissors flat. Okay, boy. Use your fingers to pry, cut. Use your fingers to pry, cut. Okay, one last, one last snip, okay? One last snip. Done. So, so as you can see, the hair, okay, above the eye is clear and the hair in front of the eye is clear as well. So this is what you can try to do at home, you know, during this period where you are unable to bring your dog to the groomers. Okay, remember all the safety tips that I shared in the earlier part of the videos. And then when you try it yourself, if you have any issues, 
feel free to DM us or or WhatsApp us and ask us, okay? If not, I'll let chocolate to... Okay, so now, how do we hold our dog's face to trim the eye hair? Okay, what we need to do is we basically just need to support. Put your hand like a V-shape. Support the chin, support the jaw. Support the jaw, huh? So just support the jaw, okay? And then you can start to trim. Like that. And then if you need more support, you can move your hand to hold the skull like this. So your thumb is below and then your four fingers are on top of the skull. And then you have better, better grip. Okay? Now, we will go, let chocolate go, and then we will move on to the Q&A session. Maybe about three to five questions, and then we will end the uh, live. Okay? So chocolate, say goodbye first, see you in a bit. Who is here? Hi, Zana. <laughs> yes, Chocolate doesn't really like to get his face trimmed. And he he's actually doing pretty well already. Oh, my teacher is watching. Hello. Uh, do you guys have any questions? Any questions with regards to the face trim? Oh yes, chocolate's a good boy. I don't like slicker brush. Okay, first question. Kai Mini Schnauzer, thanks for the question. I don't like slicker brush, but I want to look fluffy. How? Hmm. Don't like slicker brush. Um, if you don't like the slicker brush, maybe you can try to use, use a Greyhound comb instead. Okay, because uh, when you use a slicker brush, the goal is really to separate the hairs, right? So, I'll give you an example. So, you see there's a fake dog here, okay, it's fake. Alright, you see the hair here is like quite clumpy. So, when we use the slicker brush, let me use the slicker brush for the first part here. Okay, when we use the slicker brush, it becomes all separated and fluffy. Okay, if you use the Greyhound comb, okay, you can you can also separate the hairs, just that it is slightly less fluffy, but it can still do a pretty good fluff job to make it look fluffy. Okay, so we have answered uh, Kai Mini Schnauzer's question. Does this answer your question? Now where can we get the small scissors? The small scissors you can actually buy online. You just need to go to... Um, you just need to search for round tip scissors. And then um, just try to get one that is not too cheap. Usually the ones that is really really cheap. Uh, quite blunt but remember the rule of thumb for scissors is that when you trim the hair right one snip it should cut if it well, if you snip and it folds the hair uh, it's not very uh, suitable right now uh, ENSC asked how do we trim the hair on the sanitary parts okay for the sanitary area because chocolate is uh, it's not very, uh, it's ran out of patience really. <laughs> so probably the sanitary area will cover that on uh, another life to help. To help you, okay, and the others who need help. For dogs, which is slightly more aggressive, any suggestions to help trim their face at home? Mm. 
usually for us when we groom aggressive dogs uh, we understand that uh, there are certain triggers that trigger them to become aggressive so I would I would recommend and encourage you to try to do it in a way that doesn't trigger them I know it's gonna be very hard uh, but there is a way there is a way if you can have more patience and try to find uh, try and like lay out the different options you can have to help to do a particular grooming procedure and then try each and every one of them out and then there is bound to be one method that doesn't trigger them that badly or doesn't trigger them at all so for Ong Jess uh, I, would, I would like you to try it try and find the different different methods and then um, you know get back to us you know DM us WhatsApp us to, to follow up as to whether or not you're able to have a dog. If not, uh, we'll help you more uh, over like DMs and WhatsApp message. Okay. So, oh yes, almond. Ah, almond. Yes. So, there are actually hair detanglers out there that you can use to loosen the, the clumpiness of the coat or like mats that can be more easily removed when you use the hair detangler. So, you might want to use that as well okay so uh, last question last question okay uh, could you do a future live on nail clipping and filing nails yes actually nail clipping and filing is is what uh, we are planning to do next but uh, it'll probably be done at home all right so I'll be doing nail clipping and filing for chocolate at home and we will actually let you guys know as to when we'll be doing that on our social media so stay tuned for that because nail clipping and filing is very crucial and um, I would really really like to, to share with uh, pet owners on how they can do it in a less stressful way uh, during this period where you know you can't get a groomer's help okay yay if not yeah thank you all for watching and um, let me just do a little quick summary for today's session before we end it. So basically today we spoke about the different tools that you need to, to prepare before you do the face trim. For us today we used the Greyhound comb okay, and the round tip scissors. These two tools are just what you need to be able to help your dogs to get the face trimmed around the eyes. Okay, this is what we covered today. We, we shared with you on how you can help your dog to trim the hairs on top of the eyelids as well as above the muzzle. These, these hairs are usually the ones that uh, irritate the dog's eyes and then cause like more tearing and more gunk build up. So yeah, just these two tools will be good enough to help. And of course, always remember that uh, never ever force your dog uh, or score your dog so that you can do any particular grooming procedure because um, I don't think that's necessary there is definitely one way or a way that you can find out on how you can help your dog in the least stressful manner possible and that doesn't involve any like rough handling okay uh, if not we'll see you in the next live thank you for your time thank you for watching if you have any questions or Anything to ask, you can just DM us. If not, have a good Saturday. Bye-bye.